Well, good afternoon to you. Welcome back to Shaving with Fuzzy. I'm Fuzzy. How y'all? So, uh, Sunday afternoon, got to shave for church. So, uh, got a several, two or three days worth of growth here. I finally got my long weekend off. Hadn't had them off in months, but uh, <clears throat> finally hired some people and I got back to my long weekend off. So, go Fuzzy. And uh, we're going to knock this here down. So, uh, I picked up some of this the other day, Clubman Pinald Shave Soap, and I've been kind of curious about it, but I hadn't wanted to order it over line. But uh, over in Lafayette, which is, I don't know, hour and a half hour up the road, something like that, from Baton Rouge here, uh, they have a store there that sells some of the old stuff. I picked up some Williams and some uh, Vanderhagen soaps. They've got all the old Pinald uh, aftershaves that you know we all love so much and stuff. And they had this on the shelf, and it was like $6 and something for a two-ounce tub. And I uh, said, so we're going to give it a try and see how it does. Now, the first thing I already know about it, because I've opened it up, is that it does not smell like Clubman. It's uh, more of a clone-type smell. They make what they call a uh, classic barber cream or something like that. And it comes in a big tub, and you open it up. And it's like a lotion. It's more like a shave butter lotion. I didn't like it. I liked the smell. I didn't, you know, I threw it away. But uh, anyhow, so it's got that same scent to it. So it's not really a Clubman uh, scent. It's not a bad scent. It's a pleasant scent, but it's not really the Clubman scent. But we're going to pair it with Clubman anyway. And uh, the old Ever Ready 104 here. This is a uh, vintage knot and everything. I've dropped it and busted the handle and had to glue the the uh, cover, I guess it's a, a plastic cover over a hard rubber core or something like that. Anyway, I've had to glue it back a couple of times and I've thought about busting this knot out of here and putting it in something else because even though it's a vintage knot, it's still in really good shape and I can't talk myself into it. So I just keep uh, gluing it back together and away we go. So for a razor today, because you know, we're shaving, we're going to break out the little Ever Ready 1913-ish lather catcher here and uh, I don't know some of you may have not have seen this before these actually came with a uh, my hands are kind of wet so I'm gonna have to use a towel over here but they came with a uh, stropping handle is screwed into the bottom of my handle my fingers are wet I can't get it out and then you could strop the old blades with it so the stropping handle is even still built into this one where it's supposed to be and uh, as with all these old lather catchers we want to be sure that we got the uh, blade behind the blade stop. This is a pile super blade. And uh, make sure it's all centered up behind the blade stops and everything's in good shape before you start. I can shave you some scratches. Look like you've been through a cat fight if you got a corner stuck out there. And it doesn't take just a second for it to happen either. Alright, so let's see here what we can get going with the clubman it's got a fairly complicated ingredients list which is not always my favorite thing in the world to see but it does have some shea butter in the ingredients so maybe that'll help it out some I'm optimistic maybe uh, cautiously optimistic is a good word for it but I'm optimistic about it I haven't really seen I, I didn't take the time to go do a search and see what people have been saying uh, but we're just gonna we're gonna give it a try on our own here now, it is a small tub but I've got a smaller brush and I think it's gonna load up just fine here we'll see what happens and we're using our normal just use a damp brush if it looks like it needs a little more water just dip the ends of the brush in I think this one's gonna do fine with the water we have on the brush to start with I don't think we're gonna have to do anything else it looks like it's working it pretty good here in a pretty good pretty good pace going as we load the brush because that's all we want to do is load the soap into the brush we'll build a ladder on the old base here all right let's see what we get this little small bore brush has always been a favorite of mine ever since i got it it doesn't take a big brush to really work up good lather that being said, I do like my bigger bore brushes too. The big Omegas and 
things of that nature. I've got some mid-sized smogs that are really nice, my 1305, 208. But this little brush, as you can see, does just a fine job building up ladder. And the old clubman here is laddering up good. I think we go add a little bit more water. Make sure it's good and slick. Oh yeah, that's nice. Got a scent that's uh, not the same as, but reminiscent to the old uh, Wilkerson Sword Soap and the old uh, Flying Saucer looking tub. It's a colony scent, kind of like that. That's how the best I can describe it. It's colony. All right. Yeah, that lathered up pretty nice, actually. See what we get here with the old Ever Ready with the pile blade. Oh, very nice. Oh, look at that. Cleaning up nice. First pass. Come up here and see how we're going to do. There's that audio feedback you get from these old leather catchers, I'm telling you. I know, I know, that's Blade Tratter. Yada yada, whatever. Whatever it is, it's musical. All the way down that jawline there. Oh yeah, that's nice. So, Plenty slick, not clogging the razor up. Leather's good. I'm not the one to uh, to talk to about the post shave feel and all that because I don't use moisturizers or anything. I kind of have. Uh, Cast iron skin, I guess. I don't know. Coming down under the old chin here. Alright. Well, that just wasn't bad at all. That cleaned up good. I don't see anything in the world wrong with the clubman shave soap. back here and we didn't have to add any more to the brush there's plenty here probably for a couple more passes you know we're not shaving a yak here you don't have to build enough flatter to shave your yak if you shave your yak more power to you that come from a discussion the other day on uh the shaved in don't need enough ladder to shave a yak Yeah, we'll even do a little painting for you. How that? We'll be like Bob Ross. We'll paint some happy little trees here for you. No, really, we're not gonna paint happy little trees. I can't draw stick figures, much less paint. About the only thing I draw is flies. Get it? Flies? You know, draw flies. Uh, never mind. You gotta explain it. It ain't funny no how. All right, here we go. Go back for a little across the grain here. See no need and against the grain. I like how when you read the directions on this, they tell you you can use a brush or your hand to allow that. And they say to put it on and then they say to shave with the grain. That's what the instructions on the side say. And as far as bowl lathering goes, I've got some uh, Bulgarian cream that I got in the other day that we're going to be seeing in action here in another video couple of days or so and on that their particular cream it actually says to face lather their cream I kind of thought that was kind of neat they must like their bowls for soup too Bulgarians eat I'm sure they eat soup I wonder what kind of soup Bulgarians I'll have to find out but uh anyway 
This particular Bulgarian cream tells you to face slather with it. I thought that was pretty neat. Save your bowls for the cereal. Alright. Boy, I shave it nice. A new carving steel blade and a ladder catcher. I can tell you, it don't get a lot better than that. And for you folks out there that are old enough to know what I'm talking about, I have yet to have the Swedish bikini team drop in when I said that. Maybe one day. It don't get no better than that. No, didn't work that time either. All right. Look at that. So two passes with the Clubman shave soap. I think it's going to go right on in the rotation there with the other 50 so I have. I don't know. There's a bunch of stuff over there. I don't seem to ever get around to it all. So, cleaned up. We'll let you have a look at it before I did it. This is even before any kind of a touch-up pass. I could probably not do a touch-up pass, actually. All that old white hair is gone. But my routine is to do a touch-up pass, and it's more shaving, so... You know, it's kind of what we're here for. So we're going to flash on some witch hazel. That'll give us a little slickness for the touch-up pass. And if we have any ir irritation going on, it'll help with that. We'll come do a little buffing under here. Make sure you got that bottom lip cleaned up. Under the chin, down in front of the ears over here. If you take your thumb, you can put it right at the end of your sideburn there. And you can get a nice sharp sideburn without having to risk. But if you just keep doing it like this, and a little bit before long, your sideburn is up the side of your head. That old barber told me that one time. Since I just got my ears lowered, you got to be careful of all that. All right, looky there. Boy, that is a nice, nice, nice shave. I kind of feel sorry for anybody that didn't get a shave like that today. Oh, that's nice. All right, so let's finish here. Oh, boy, bro. So this uh, a review here of the cream and the tray and everything. I'll get it posted over at uh, the Original Safety 2. That's the number 2.com. That's where uh, I do my single edge and injector razor talking mostly over there that's all we do over there single edge and injector you ought to come over and see us sometimes you like these old raiders the original safety two i'll see if i can get it in the description here for you and there's folks over there using all different kinds of single edge and injector razors we got all kinds of good stuff over there so that's my shave for today came out very well i think the uh if you get a chance to try to Clubman Pinald, I'd say give it a whirl. It's definitely nothing fancy, but it's uh, definitely not, you know, low end. Best way I know to put it. You know, low end be down there with Marvies and Scoutmaster. And uh, this stuff is definitely mid-range stuff. So I like it. Fuzzy approves. Thumb up. All right, well, y'all have a good day. I got to go finish getting ready for church and get out of here. And we'll see y'all. Happy shaves.